Hey there, Apple enthusiasts! Today, we're unlocking some hidden treasures within macOS, sharing tips that could revolutionize how you work and navigate your Mac. Have you ever needed to use a document model quickly but worried about changing the original? Don't worry, Stationery Pad can help. Right-click on a file. Go to Get Info. Tick the Stationery Pad box. And there you go. Whenever you open it, a copy appears, keeping your template safe and unchanged. Sometimes you might wish a website worked more like an app that you could quickly access on your Mac. Luckily, macOS Sonoma has introduced a way to make that happen. First, visit the site you want to save in Safari and click the Share button. Then click Add to Doc. Give the web app a name and select Add. This adds it to the doc. Have you ever felt lost with lots of open tabs while searching on the internet? Safari Snapback can help. Just press Command, Option, S, or click in the History menu, click Search Results Snapback, and you'll quickly return to where you started your search. It stops you from getting lost among all those interesting links. Hot corners are useful, but they can bother you sometimes. Don't worry, open System Settings, click Desktop and Dock, scroll to the bottom of the menu, and click Hot Corners. In the dialog box that appears, click the drop-down menu corresponding to the screen corner that you want to use as a hot corner. Next, hold down a modifier key and select a function from the drop-down to assign to the hot corner. We're using the Shift command in our example. Now that's done, the next time you come to use a hot corner, hold down the modifier keys as you move the mouse cursor towards it. Otherwise, the action you assign to that corner won't work. Do you want more than three apps in your dock to help you work faster? If yes, then Terminal can help you. You can change how many apps show up in your dock by typing this simple command. You can copy it from the description of this video. This means you can decide how many apps you want to see. With Terminal, you're in charge of your dock! Get better at resizing windows. When you drag to resize, press and hold the Option key to resize from the middle of the window. This helps you make precise adjustments and have more control over the resizing. Do you think important people should get special treatment? With Apple Mail, you can make sure you don't miss any messages from those important people by setting up special alerts. Click Mail. Go to Settings in the menu bar, then click the General tab and select VIPs in the New Message Notifications drop-down list. Setting up VIP alerts in this way is all well and good, but it prevents you from receiving notifications for all other messages coming into your inbox. A better solution is to set up a rule in mail that plays a specific sound or bounces the dock icon when a message is received and the sender is in your VIP list. Imagine if your notes could float above everything else on your screen. Open the Notes app, click twice on a note, and click on Windows, then choose an option, Keep on Top. This will make the note stay visible no matter which app you're using. It makes doing different things at once really simple. Easily make quick ways in your Finder toolbar by dragging things while pressing Command. This helps you get to your favorite apps, files, and folders with just one click, making it easy to move around your computer. Find a hidden way to get to system settings quickly. Press the Option key and press the function keys that have icons on them like volume on F11. This helps you get to settings that are related to those keys faster. It's like a faster way to get to what you need. Did you know you can speak instead of typing on your Mac? It's true. If you have macOS Sonoma, just turn on dictation and system settings. Then, whenever you want, you can easily switch between typing and talking whenever you need a break. Make Safari easier to use by cleaning up your tabs. You can set it up to close tabs that you haven't used for a while. Select Safari, go to Settings in the menu bar, then click the Tabs section. Next to Automatically Close Tabs, you'll find options to make the browser auto-close tabs that have not been viewed after one day, after one week, or after one month. This helps you have a neat browsing experience without too many tabs open at once. And there you have it your gateway to mastering macOS. 
don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to stay updated on all things Apple. Until next time, keep exploring and mastering your Mac world.